Cory here, aka Crasher, back with a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a brand new competitive guide for Pokemon Sword and Shield, Crown Tundra, and in today's episode, we are going to be covering Galarian Moltres. This Pokemon rocks. So without further ado, if you guys are ready, if you guys are set, let's get started. So kicking things off for Galarian Moltres, its typing is that of Dark and Flying, which is a really good offensive typing, if I'm going to be completely honest. Now, we move on to its ability. It is known as Berserk. Now, this is a pretty damn good ability, because what this does is if you are knocked to 50% or below of your health, Berserk will kick in and boost your special attack by one stage. That right there is some scary shiz. Now, as for its stats, it's got 90 in the HP, defense, and speed, all of which are very respectable. Its attack is base 85, special attack base 100, and its special defense is at a very meaty base 125. So, this Pokemon right here can tank hits. Now going back to its typing, we're going to be taking a look at the strengths and weaknesses. Starting off with the weaknesses, it is weak to the following. Rock, Electric, Ice, and Fairy. All of which are fairly common in competitive play, so do keep that in mind. However, let's now take a look at the resistances, and right from the get-go, you have an immunity to ground and psychic type attacks. That is amazing, and you also have a resistance to Ghost, Grass, and Dark. So, overall, a really, really good set of resistances, but you do have a few weaknesses that you do need to keep in mind. So now let's move on to some set ideas for Galarian Moltres. The first set we have going on is an all-out attacking set. Now, as for the item of choice, we will be going with a Choice Scarf here, which is going to boost your speed by 50%, but it will lock you into the first move you select until you switch out. As for the ability, we will be going with Berserk, as it's its only ability it has access to. The Effort Values, or EVs for short, goes as follows. 252 into the Special Attack, 252 into the Speed, and 4 in Special Defense. And we will be going with a Timid Nature to drop your attack stat, but increase your speed. As for its move set, the first move we have is Fiery Wrath, the signature move of Galarian Moltres. It is a special dark type move with base 90 power and a 20% chance to flinch. And I also might add that this right here is actually a very good move in doubles because it hits both of your opponents and also carries a nifty 20% chance to flinch your opponents. An enhanced version of Dark Pulse is what I like to call this move. The next move slot is going to go to your flying type coverage, so you have either Hurricane or Air Slash to choose from. Hurricane is a special flying type move with base 110 power and a 30% chance to confuse your opponents. However, its major drawback is its accuracy. It's base 70, so it does have a chance to miss. So if you don't like the chance to miss with Hurricane, you can go for the safer option in Air Slash. It has a decent base 75 power and a 30% chance to flinch. So do you want more power in Hurricane or do you want to have a safer and more reliable move in Air Slash? It's up to you. The next move we have is U-Turn. This is going to be great with Choice Scarf. The name of the game when it comes to U-Turn is not so much to damage your opponents, but to more or less scout out what your opponents are going to do, so you can U-Turn on out to your teammates and give you an advantage. This is a base 70 physical bug type move that allows for you to make your attack and switch out to your teammates, so this right here is a very good scouting move. The last move we have, you can either go for something like Foul Play or Snarl. Foul Play is a base 95 dark type move, which actually utilizes your opponent's attack stat against it. So if you are facing off against a really strong physical attacker and you fire off a Foul Play, oh, they're going to be feeling that for sure. Truly a greasy move. I love it. We also have ourselves Snarl here, which is a base 55 dark type move with a 100% chance to lower your opponent's special attack by one stage. Now, the reason for Snarl here is this right here is meant to be used in doubles battles. So if you are using this set in doubles battles, then I would recommend running Snarl over Foul Play. You can run Foul Play if you want to catch them physical attackers off guard. However, when you are using 
using this in a singles match, run foul play all the way. You don't need Snarl. Now, another way you can run this set is by giving Galarian Moltres a much bulkier approach. So, in this situation here, we will be changing the item to Assault Vest, which allows for you to have a 50% boost in your special defense. However, you are locked into attacking moves only, and the EV spread is going to be changed into 252 into the HP, 252 in the special attack, and 4 in special defense. And we will be going with a modest nature here to lower your physical attack but increase your special attack. This right here gives Moltres the ability to be a slower, bulkier special attacker while having the ability to tank special hits like you wouldn't believe. So for our next set, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be using the classic Resto Chesto variant. Now, for the item of choice, we're going to be going with a Chesto Berry, which is going to allow for Moltres to awaken out of sleep immediately after being inflicted with the sleep condition. The ability, once again, is going to be Berserk. The EV spread is going to be 252 in the special attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 into the speed, with, once again, a timid nature. Now, as for the moves, we are going to be going with Fiery Wrath as really solid dark type coverage, and her Hurricane to give you really solid flying type coverage. I will reiterate once again, if you don't like the accuracy of Hurricane, you can go for Air Slash, which is a decent power move. Now, this is where the craziness comes in, guys. The next move we have is a nasty plot, and this move boosts your special attack by two stages. Oh man, that is going to be lethal. And the last move we have is going to be Rest. Now, this puts you to sleep for two turns, however, it will restore your HP and your status to full, so that way you can have another shot at being the menace you want to be in battle. And I should also add this in as well, when you have the ability to rest up, then you can actually have another shot at activating Berserk. Check me out on this. So, prior to you using Rest, you get knocked down to 50% or below of your health. Berserk activates, you use Rest, wham bam, you're fully healed up again, and then the next time you get knocked down to 50% or below of your health, Berserk will activate yet again, giving you another special attack boost. And if that already isn't crazy enough, well, just imagine having the Berserk booster special attack on top of Nasty Plot boosts. This Pokemon is going to be even more scary in battle. As for the next set, we are going to be using Moltres in a similar fashion, but there are some slight differences to it. The item of choice is going to be a Salak Berry, which is a berry that will activate when you are 25% or below of your maximum health, and it will boost your speed by one stage. As for the ability, it should go without saying, is going to be Berserk. The EV spread, once again, is going to be 252 in the special attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 into the speed, with a timid nature once again. And the name of the game when it comes to the moves is Substitute, which is our first move. This will take 25% of your maximum health and throw up a protective decoy that not only shields you from attacks, but also shields you from any form of status conditions as well. Now, an interesting thing I want to add in when it comes comes to substitute you can use substitute to get your hp down to salad berry range and i should also remind you guys that you will be well within berserk range as well so berserk will activate and give you that special attack boost and then when you get to 25 percent or below of your health salad berry will activate and give you a plus one speed boost and just imagine with the next move here nasty plot boosting your special attack by two stages each time Oh man, this right here is another way you can utilize Moltres to be a sweeping setup monster. The next move we have is going to be Fire Wrath for your obligatory dark type coverage and Hurricane for your obligatory flying type coverage. Now I will add once again, if you don't like Hurricane's accuracy, you can go for Air Slash to have more of a reliable flying type move. However, in this situation here, the name of the game is to set up and get in as much powerful hits as possible. Now with this next set here, you are going to be turning Galarian Moltres into a pretty lethal stall breaking set. 
So the item of choice is going to be a citrus berry in this scenario because what this does is when you are 50% or below of your maximum health, citrus berry will activate and give you 25% of your maximum health back. Now this can be used in tandem with Berserk, so again, say if you were to get knocked down to Berserk range, you're going to get the plus one special attack boost, but also Citrus Berry will activate and give your health 25% restoration, and this right here could potentially allow for you to have Berserk activate yet again and turn you into a rather fearsome special attacker. And speaking of Berserk, that's going to be its ability. The EV spread once again is going to be 252 EVs into the special attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 into the speed with a timid nature once again. Now as for the first move is going to be Taunt. Taunt is an amazing move that absolutely shits on any form of stall or setup. And this forces your opponents to use attacking moves only for three turns, if I recall correctly. So this right here shuts down any form of setup from your opponents. It's filthy. I love it. The next move we have is going to be Fiery Wrath. Should kind of go without saying, you almost always want to run this move. It is really solid dark type coverage and really solid power at base 90. Once again, for the next move, we will be using Hurricane as you want to have as much damage output as possible. Now, I will add in once again, if you don't like the accuracy of Hurricane, you can always go for Air Slash, which is a more dependable flying type move in terms of accuracy, but significantly less powerful. And lastly, we are going to be using U-Turn because this actually goes very good in tandem with Taunt. So picture this scenario, you're up against a Pokemon that you think is going to set up against you, you hit them with the taunt, they can no longer set up, but if you are finding yourself to be in a rather unfavorable situation, like if you can't cause much damage to them, or if you are fearing a super effective hit against you, then you can simply U-turn on out if you outspeed them and swap in a teammate to give you an advantage. This right here is a really, really, really sneaky approach when it comes to using Moltres, and by God, do I ever love it. Now, the next set that we have is going to be another doubles variation for Galarian Moltres here. The item of choice is going to be a Citrus Berry, and is going to be used for the same reasons as a previous set that I had mentioned. So, not only does this allow for you to restore 25% of your maximum health when knocked down to 50% or below of your maximum health, but this also, as well, will put you in Berserk range to not only give your special attack a plus one boost, but after Citrus Berry heals your HP and puts you above 50% potentially, then Berserk is going to have another opportunity to activate should you get hit in Berserk range yet again. This is going to be amazing. And speaking of Berserk, that's its ability. As for the EVs, we have ourselves 252 in the special attack, 4 in special defense, and 252 in the speed with a timid nature yet again. Now, as for the first move, we are once again going to be going with Fiery Wrath for really solid and really powerful dark type coverage with a nifty chance to flinch your opposing team. And also, again, I must reiterate this. This move hits both of your opponents, which is just... Mwah, absolutely tasty. Next up, we have ourselves Hurricane. You want to be able to dole out as much damage as possible with this set, so I would highly recommend going for Hurricane here in this scenario. The next move we have, oh, this is a sneaky one. We have ourselves Snarl. Now, while this might not be very powerful, it's base 55, it's special, it's dark, but it has a 100% chance to lower your opponent's special attack by one stage. So this definitely screws with special attackers. However, do be aware of the fact that any Pokemon with access to competitive or defiant gets hit with this. Well, then their respective abilities are going to kick in and boost up their offenses pretty damn fast. And the last move is going to be Protect. Now, this is a staple in doubles. This is a must in doubles, okay? Now, barring Dynamax moves, this will shield you from any move that is used offensively to harm Moltres. But I will say as well, Protect is just overall a really solid move to have in general because not only does it protect you from oncoming damage barring max moves, but it also gives you a chance to scout out what your opponents could potentially be doing in that particular battle. Now with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a wrap up here for this how to use guide on Galarian Moltres. 
Now keep in mind with videos like these is to provide you guys with basic entry level competitive information on the respective Pokemon I do these guides for. So I really, really hope that these videos do help. And ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, that's going to be a wrap up here for this video. So I want to say thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, and most importantly guys, smash up in the comments down below. Because I love, love, love hearing from you guys. Always have, always will, that ain't ever going to change, baby. You can believe that. Woo! So thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day or night, depending on your time zone. And as always, your boy, we'll see you guys in the next one.